We're in Pan American Research Day 2012 in Fort Lauderdale. We have the pleasure of speaking today with Dr. Joaquin uh, Neto Murta from Coimbra, Portugal. He's going to speak a little bit about the presentation he just gave. Doctor? Well, it's a new technique that uh, we developed uh, since one year uh, to, to obtain uh, very thin lenticles for posterior transplantation. Mm -hmm. with the main advantages to recover the vision of the patients uh, very quick. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, uh, it's a combination of the use of a femtosecond laser mm -hmm. and with a microkeratome uh, to do in a different way of the normal double pass technique with the micro, just two passes with the, uh, the, the microkeratome. So it's, we are going to present we, in, mm -hmm. over here and in the ARVO meeting we have a presentation about this technique, the first clinical results, mm -hmm. and, um, it, and it was the issue, the main issue of the presentation. What's the next step in the investigation? Well, the next step is to, well, we are doing a lot of, um, you, you are talking about the posterior yes. uh, transplantation. Uh, we, because it's, we think that uh, with the MEC, even in the best hands, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes there are a lot of, uh, we lost a lot of corneas, and, uh, and so it's a way to recover the vision, mm -hmm. to perform the surgery more uh, easily and um, uh, to the, the majority of the, of, the, of, the, um, of the ophthalmologists. And we are doing a, now, and we are going to present here in Arvo and ECRS in Milan uh, oh. this year in September, uh, a lot of um, different results with this technique mm -hmm. because we have already a one-year follow-up, and I mm -hmm. think that... Uh, uh, one way to go in this, uh, in this, uh, in this field. Um, how long have you been coming to Pan American Research Day and how do you consider this, the importance of this event? Well, it's, uh, it's, uh, I have very good friends in Brazil and Spain and uh, all over uh, Latin America and the uh, United States. I think it's very important. And this day is important in the, the ARVO meeting. I'm coming to, uh, to the ARVO since '84. I think uh, it's uh, when I, I was living here in the United States. It was in Sarasot, it was a uh -huh. different way. Uh, but it's very important because it's, it's a way the young people also come and to, uh, to uh, develop research mm -hmm. and to increase the, the, that it's necessary not only mm -hmm. to, 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 to be a good clinician, it's necessary to, uh, to have research and uh, how to think uh, differently. Well, thank you so much. I hope more young Portuguese ophthalmologists will be joining you. Yes, there are a lot of uh, Portuguese people here um, from our department. Uh, uh, we have a research team which is very active, uh, hopefully, and we have a lot of people in the, in the Harvard meeting, and uh, it's necessary to, to have, sometimes Portugal, it's a little bit, uh, um, not very close to the yes. Pan American because it's, uh, sure. but uh, with, um, with time, we have more people is coming and uh, it's important to have this kind of uh, meetings and the relationship between people in order to um, uh, make the evolution of the ophthalmology and the research. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it. We'll let you go back.